Yo, what's up, guys? It's Prince Charming. Terry gonna be checking out the odd ones out are hamsters. So, wow, second video about hamsters. So, I'm guessing he gets his hamsters too, and they die. But all hamsters die as pets. Like, when you get a hamster as a pet, like, nine times out of ten, it's gonna die. And it usually takes, like, what, five to ten years? Sometimes even quicker than that. I don't know the lifespan of a hamster, but all I know is that, like, why not just get a dog? Dogs are so lovable. Dogs play with you. Dogs fetch. Dogs sit. Dogs just, ugh. Oh. Man's best friend right there. But don't forget to leave a like on this video. Hit that thumbs up button for me right now. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video. Your boy got a P.O. box, so if you send something my way, you will get a shout out in a video. And go ahead and comment, have you ever had a pet hamster? And if you did, is it still alive? I have had a pet hamster. I don't know if it was a gerbil or a hamster. I don't know did the difference, but they died. And then I had a pet mice, and then they died. And then a dog, and then they ran away. And then no pets hurt me at the moment. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out the All Ones Out Art Hamsters. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, just a heads up, don't get too attached to any of the hamsters mentioned in this video. Oh. Because they're all dead. And I would say that no hamsters were harmed in the making of this video. Well, I mean no hamsters <gasps> were harmed while I made this video. They're all still dead. Oh. Some hamsters, they got harmed. Just keep watching. If there's anything I've learned that the internet just loves is stupid drama and cute animals. <laughs> Keep so talk about all the cute hamsters that I've enslaved. Our family enslaved quite a lot. It was my twin sister who really wanted a pet hamster and bugged my mom to get one. And my mom being super nice bought her the cage and we bought everything else, including a little black hamster. Wow. We named him Squeaks. And he liked to do this really cute thing where he put all of his food in his hamster wheel and it was made of plastic so he could do that. And then late at night he would just run in it and it would sound like... It was like a more <laughs> annoying maraca. I actually made a comic on paper inspired by this hamster. Wow, you got a hamster? Yeah, but he doesn't do much. Well, yeah, this type of hamster is nocturnal. Really? That means I'll hardly notice him. And then at night, he's trying to sleep, but the hamster is loud, and that's <laughs> keeping him awake. And the joke is that he said he'd hardly notice him. I didn't know that hamsters were nocturnal, or well, some of them are nocturnal. I would assume that they're just like, you know, regular pets. They just awake whenever it's convenient and sleep whenever it's convenient. Like, you know, dogs, like, they sleep during the day, they sleep during the night. I think it's just a convenience space. It's like their internal clock or whatnot. And he's noticing. I'm over here giving it's you a science funny. lesson. And I need to tell you about a dog that we have named Georgie. And actually, Georgie. A fun fact about Georgie, she was born on election day of 2004, Aww. which is a much cooler holiday to have a birthday on. It only comes once every four years. It's like leap year. It's more rare. So since George That's W. True. Bush won the 2004 election, we named our dog Georgie after him. Aww. Oh, and that come also on. means that our 12th birthday was on the second. I definitely won't be able to get this video out by that time, but still. Happy birthday to oh, you. He made him. Yay! Oh. So Georgie can get the birthday, because it's her birthday, and Poppy can get the girl, because it's she's a girl. <laughs> You like Georgie, it? you better eat it. Oh. There you go. <laughs> this is a huge waste of money. Anyway, they even eat it. <laughs> this dog just loved to murder these animals. Well, I don't know if murder's the right word. No, murder's the right word. You have to understand that Georgie is a West Highland Terrier, and that breed is known for hunting small animals. So having Georgie and a hamster ah. in the same house doesn't mix well. We had this little plastic hamster ball that we put squeaks in sometimes. The first time we put squeaks into his plastic ball, my older brother bowled him like <gasps> what? a bowling ball. Peter, don't sue me. I was vegan for a week. And Georgie thought it was a treat just for her. A treat with a heart outer shell and a juicy And Georgie meat. ate it. straight up rabid wolf on that no. hamster ball. We didn't put squeaks weeks inside his hamster ball anymore after that. But there's even more to say about this hamster. One day, me and my sister came home from school and Squeaks was just gone. He escaped. <gasps> Georgie, Everyone don't tell me. Pockets. We looked everywhere and we couldn't find him. We had to keep a close eye on Georgie at all times. My sister put up missing posters around the house. I don't know if those helped. We made what? this trash <laughs> Duplo. Did anyone else's parents get them Duplo instead of Legos? No, only my parents were that lame. All right, we built this box made out of Duplo, and we made these stairs going up to the top of the box, and we put lettuce on each step, and the plan was that the hamster would walk up the stairs and fall in the and box stuck. they're stupid. But the traps never worked, and all the hamsters we got in the future that also escaped, we made the same traps, and not once did they ever work. Four days. Squeaks was missing for four How days. How do you lose a hamster for that long? inside the wall. He was alive! My dad was sitting on the couch relaxing. What? It was dead quiet, and he just heard the faintest... 
How does the hamster get inside the wall? Like, oh, does it go in through like a vent or something? What was it doing inside of a vent? Like, there's no food inside vents, hamster. I wonder what it must be like in the mind of a hamster. <laughs> it must be just a mindless body. <laughs> Squeaks was inside the wall. We think he got in through our laundry chute. I don't know what I would do if my kid's hamster was inside the wall of my house. Well, kids, now is an important time I teach you about death. My dad oh. ended up cutting three holes in the wall and Lord squeaks out with some lettuce. Poor thing, he was probably starving. Hopefully he kept some extra food in his cheeks. So even being tormented by the dog and getting stuck in the wall for four days, Squeaks still lived a fulfilling two years of life. What? Hamsters don't have that long a lifespan. We <laughs> After the Squeaks dynasty, oh, we got some God. more hamsters. Squeaks 2, that was the next one. Squeaks we thought maybe two. if we introduced Squeaks 2 to Georgie, then they could be friends and get along. I'll spare you the details of what happened that night. The next one no! was he kept biting us, so get it? Killer? Yeah, he ended up getting killed. Nah, I'm just kidding. He wasn't killed. He lived a long and normal hamster life. Squeaks 2 was killed, though. I don't know if you picked up on that. We bought these three oh little hamsters. God. Seriously, they're the most adorable little things. They look like this. I forgot their oh names. We'll just gosh. call them the three amigos. Aw. The lady at the pet store told us that if we bought hamsters from the same litter, they would all get along. She was obviously just trying to sell us more hamsters. Or maybe she yep. didn't have any siblings. She upsell you. These just hated each other. They would never stop fighting. As I was writing the script for this, I thought, well, maybe they were just aggressively playing. So I googled, do hamsters play with each other, just to be sure, and the first thing that showed up, dwarf hamsters, which is what the three amigos were, are quite territorial and will not see former cage mates as old friends. They see them as threatening rivals. So there we go, you really know your hamsters, lady. So we had to get three different cages for them. So hamsters can't live together, like they can't keep the peace? Why are y'all beefing amongst each other? It be, it, it be your own people, it be your own people. We put them right next to each other, and I swear they still gave each other some death glares. I actually made a video a long time ago about this time I broke one of their cages. I was cleaning it outside and for whatever reason I was like, huh, I wonder if I could stand on it. The answer, <gasps> no. I oh. glass broke and I bled everywhere. Oh. Still with a scar on my foot. Oh. And then all the three amigos died off, one by one. Sorry, I'm getting really emotional. We also had this other hamster named Buddy, and I wasn't gonna mention him because he just escaped and we never found him. Except as my mom was reading over the script because she reads over my scripts, thanks mom, she turned to me and said, did we ever tell you what happened to Buddy? And I said, what do you mean? And she said, you know how we couldn't find him? Well, we did, but the dog got to him first. This one time I wanted to buy a hamster Georgie! And I saw some that were on sale, and there was this piece of paper next to the cage that said, please adopt us. Oh shoot, I'll take one of these puppies. No, no, not an actual puppy. I, I meant one of the hamsters. And I named her Pumpkin Seed. What? Because she was Puppies that are better. Pumpkin Seed color. But then one month after I got her, she just died for no reason. This guy be killing off hamsters. What are you doing to them? You cannot be going through this many hamsters. You're a culprit. What are you doing, sir? We have to investigate you. Somebody call the FBI on the odds one out. No, seriously, don't do that. <laughs> Even though I loved her. She had food. She had water. This wasn't the first time I was taking care of a hamster, okay? All the other ones lived for a couple of years. I was so sad. I totally got chipped. No wonder they were on sale. They were all halfway to death's door. I mean, I only had Man. a hamster for a month. I, I didn't get that emotionally attached to it. Th that but then quick? later, I got a different hamster that I paid full price for, and I named her Gumball. Unlike all the other hamsters that were technically my sisters, this hamster was all mine. And Gumball. she didn't have anything traumatic happen to her. She had a good hamster life. I was pretty sad when Gumball died. We lavished these hamsters, okay? We loved them. At least my sister did. She cried when they died and made little gravestones. Oh my gosh. I used to always say, there's no point in being a skinny hamster. She gave them a lot of treats. So much so that it got to the point that the hamster would come out looking for my mom just by the sound of her voice. <laughs> all in all, there's about seven dead hamsters buried in our backyard. Rip in peace, little bros. Oh, Jose, can you see? Oh, these are the Lost posters. That was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, wow, they really got through, they went through that many hamsters. I can't even go through that many, and how how long was that? Because he went through about seven hamsters. I would say that was a period of five years, right? But most of them, to be fair, did get eaten by the dog. Georgie, why are you eating hamsters? Did you not eat enough dog food? No, so, dogs will always eat until, like, they can't no more. Until they literally can't no more. Trust me, I've seen dogs eat so much. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Alhakam. Stay charming, my friends.